what's happening everybody? It's your boy Akeem and welcome to today's blog. Here is a recap of week 10 of the college football season. Penn State coach Joe Paterno won his 400 career victory as a head coach with a win over Northwestern this past weekend. The Nittany Lions trailed for most of the game until they rallied back in the third then maintained their lead to get the victory. I would like to congratulate Coach Paterno for having a great year and accomplishing a magnificent feat. Your legacy will be remembered for a long time. Great job, Coach. Staying in the Big Ten, there was a long overtime thriller between Michigan and Illinois. The two teams combined for over 1,200 yards of total offense, scoring the highest scoring game of the FBS season thus far. Michigan ended up winning 65-67 to after Illinois failed to convert the two-point conversion in the third overtime. I think that this win helped Rich Rodriguez keep his job for at least one more year. Why? Because for the first time in his tenure, Michigan finally has made it to a bowl game. But I think a win over Ohio State will, win, will help out better. If they beat the Buckeyes, Rich Rodriguez will definitely stay for another year as head coach. Now down in Death Valley, LSU just outplayed the Crimson Tide of Alabama. Alabama was looking to stay on track for the BCS championship, but could not overcome LSU's rallies throughout the game. LSU rallied twice in the second half, the first coming from a 75-yard touchdown pass from Jordan Jefferson to Ruben Randall. Then Ruben Randall hauled a 47-yard pass from Jared Lee during the last minutes of the game to help seal the win. The quarterbacks Jefferson and Lee helped, helped LSU win this game by stepping up when they were needed most. Also, Coach Les Miles just outcoached Nick Saban and the Alabama staff. He was risky for most of the game, especially for going, going for the fourth down. On fourth and one, he set up a reverse play for, to set up a touchdown run. They converted the fourth down, and then the very next play, running back Stephen Ridley scored a, a one-yard run. Also, he designed a great defensive scheme to help, slow, to help LSU defense slow down the tied offense. He did a great job, and this is why they won the game. Other notable games were Arkansas over South Carolina, as I called it on my prediction, but I did mess up on the Baylor-Oklahoma State game. Oklahoma State crushed Baylor thanks to Justin Blackman's return off of a suspension. He had 175 yards receiving and a touchdown and a 69-yard touchdown run in during the game. He came back with a vengeance, and he came back big. Also, Texas A&M beat number 9 Oklahoma. It looks like the Aggies are getting it back together. The key highlights of the game was that the Aggies stopped um, Oklahoma three times in the goal line. Three goal line stands. Big win for the Aggies. It looks like that they're turning their season around. For my, game, for my game of the week, TCU just completely shut out um, Utah for most of the game. They crushed them 47-7. to Come on. This is the number five team in the nation, and TCU held them to just seven points. Seven. Great job. They just, they just controlled the whole game from start to finish. Big win. Now, another non-BCS qualifier who won big was Boise State, who beat Hawaii 42-7. to seven. Quarterback Kellen Moore threw for 507 yards and five touchdowns and just three quarters sitting out in the fourth. Now, we all need to think about this. After two non-BCS qualifiers just crushed all these teams, it's time to really consider to have a playoff. I mean, seriously, both teams are beating their, are beating their opponents by an average of over 30 points a game. Come on, voters. BCS voters need to change the system. Stop going by a stupid computer and start listening to your hearts. You know teams have caught, in, have caught up over the years. TCU and Boise State are, are, are among the nation's elite, and it's time to start giving the playoff and giving them a shot for the national title. TCU is still ranked third, and Boise is still ranked the fourth team in the nation. I believe that they deserve a lot of consideration to be at least part of a playoff or and a consideration to play for the national title. Times has changed, and it's time to start going, going a different direction. Stop doing this stupid BCS system and start having a playoff. Give every team a shot to play for the national title. That's all I'm saying. I think this is something that you should really consider thinking about. Thank you for watching today's blog. I'm Akeem McCall. Be easy.